Hi, I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop and welcome to another episode of The Garden Gate. Today I'm here to talk about wall art, outdoor wall art, like you see behind me. Um, a lot of people like to have some interesting pieces that they can put outside around their deck. They're decorating their outdoor spaces because they spend a lot more time in the outdoors. And uh, we have lots of different pieces that you can choose from. This artist behind me is from Beamsville, Ontario. And then I have some wall art from British Columbia, some beautiful black pieces, black trees, black crows, lovebirds. I have some other beautiful uh, trees that are um, what we call the continental tree. And it's a real interesting conversation piece. Um, I'll let you have a look at the picture of the, uh, of the tree to see why I call it an interesting conversation piece. It's really different. And um, we have other things like uh, giant lizards, uh, gecko monsters that you can put on your fence as well. And um, some really different pieces. Finding locations outside where you're going to enjoy them, where you're going to be able to talk about them with your friends. Um, oftentimes as well, uh, people put things outside, but they also put them inside, like these pieces behind me. They look awesome inside. The horizontal piece looks really nice uh, above a couch in a living room. Um, I have customers that put the long pine trees on um, fence, or on, uh, excuse me, on um, brickwork or stonework above their fireplaces, and it looks just spectacular. Uh, so coming up in the second segment, I'll talk a little bit more about the metals that we, uh, these products are made from and how you can protect them from rusting. A lot of people don't like the rusting, so we'll talk a little bit more about that in the second segment. I hope you'll join me. Welcome back to the Garden Gate. I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop, and I was talking about outdoor wall art earlier in the segment. And this is a piece that I was mentioning about how interesting this tree actually is. It's called the Continental Tree because it ha it's actually the continent, and a really neat piece made by a woman from Oakville. And this piece is powder coated, which means that the paint has been baked right onto it, and if it's hanging outside, it won't rust. So that's a really nice feature about the powder coating. The other pieces that you saw behind me earlier from Beamsville are also powder coated. Now if you buy a piece, something like the black pieces you might see behind me, or the brass colored pieces, those are not powder coated, so you would need to put a clear coat on them like a trim clad type product. Uh, probably once a year, and uh, that will stop it from rusting. Some people like them to rust, so it's not always a problem. But something to be aware of is ask questions when you're out buying products to make sure that the material is something of quality that you'll know will last. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Garden Gate, and we'll see you next time. The Garden Gate is brought to you by the Avant Garden Shop, your destination for gardening accessories and backyard birding supplies.